It's not clickbait if you deliver on the value. What's up guys, Jason here is Spying Entrepreneur, and in this video we are going to be talking about how to create a YouTube thumbnail in Canva, and of course we're going to be focusing on how to create and design the best type of thumbnail for you, your brand, your business, and of course to get clicks, right? Because as YouTube becomes more and more crowded, it's becoming increasingly important to make sure that your thumbnails not only stand out, but immediately communicate the value that your video is going to deliver. Those are the two things that your thumbnail needs to do in order to get the clicks and actually make sure those clicks s turn into views. A big problem I see with a lot of thumbnails is they're just clickbait, right? The definition of clickbait really is just misleading people when they click on your thumbnail. So as long as your thumbnail communicates, remember a picture is worth a thousand words, right? So you have just a couple of seconds with that thumbnail to communicate the value that your video brings and grab their attention, you know, just say, hey, watch this video, here's the value. That's all your thumbnail is designed to do. So in this quick Canva tutorial, I'm not only going to show you how to kind of put together a thumbnail in Canva, I'm also gonna walk you through how to make sure that you start off with the right design. And at the end of the video, particularly if you're working on a channel where you're branding yourself or other people, definitely make sure to stick around to the end because I have a cool little trick and I have this number in the description at the end of the video, you know why that number is so important to creating your thumbnails in Canva. So let's go ahead and kick things off first off with the design. Remember, the first part of your thumbnail is to grab your viewer's attention, whether they're current subscribers or new subscribers. So here's how you do it. Just go to five or six channels in your niche and take a look at their most recent, you know, four to seven thumbnails. You can be as thorough as you want. Uh, the screenshots here, I just did one and one for simplicity's sake. But take a look at the, the previous five or six thumbnails, right? And then go ahead and go to their videos and scroll down a year or more and then look at what their thumbnails used to look like, right? When you do that for five to six different channels in your niche, you're going to get a really good idea of what worked in the past what's working now and kind of the difference in trends and how things have changed over time. It's gonna give you a tremendous amount of design insight as to how you should create your thumbnails and most of the time other YouTubers in your niche have already figured out what's worked and what hasn't in the past. So knowing past and present is gonna be really helpful in terms of getting your design. And so with that, we are ready to jump into my screen and look at how I use Canva to put together YouTube thumbnails. Here we are in Canva. So first things first, you're gonna come over here to create a design and click on YouTube thumbnail. If it doesn't show up for you right there, you can go ahead and click more and then scroll on down to social media and email headers and we'll go ahead and click YouTube thumbnail. So once you click that, you'll be taken to a blank canvas. I'm pulling one up that I already have. And so this is essentially what we're gonna start with. We're gonna start from scratch and then end up with you know something like this or something similar to what works in your space. Remember, it's really important that you go through that research process and see the kind of style and format that works in your space and then decide what elements are gonna be really important for your channel. So I'm just scrolling through these to see these to show you like once you have your kind of base design done making youtube thumbnails becomes really really quick and easy you can pump these out like no other so there are a couple of elements that i found to work best with my thumbnails particularly from a branding perspective so number one is the kind of headline right what is what are we saying to pull people in and i typically use a shape to highlight that. So I'm gonna go ahead and use a square. You'll see down here, I wound up using a, tilting a tri triangle on its side. So you can get um, you can get creative with the shapes, like for example, this one. If we went ahead and tilted it a little bit and then made it a little bigger, uh, maybe not that big, maybe like that and put it here. Maybe the title would, oh, let's go ahead and arrange it back so you can see the title. Back, 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 back and arrange back, 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 right? So then there would be your attention grabbing title. We'd put that in the center someplace. And then let's go ahead and grab an image. Woohoo, this guy laughing. You'll recognize who that is. Do, 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 do. And again, these pictures, by the way, I took, um, I had my wife take them on my iPhone or her iPhone. <laughs> and then I paid someone on Fiverr to remove the background and HD them up at cost 
oh, I don't know, like uh, 20 or 30 bucks. And you can see I have a lot to choose from. And it was just a ran, a, a rapid fire photo shoot. It took like 10 minutes. And now I have all of these great images to play with. And then let's add a cool background. Let's see, I've been using the funnel one for a while. How about some wood? Yeah, there we go. Do, 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 do. And when you click and drag back, it'll automatically go in the background. And bam, there would be a very, very, very basic thumbnail. So I'm not saying to use a thumbnail like this. I just did that to show you how simple it can be when you're just starting, right? It doesn't have to be super complicated. Like there are only the elements that you're playing with. Actually, I'll add one more, one more element here, and that would be a image. So let's do Bing ads. So really the only elements you're playing with is you have your headline, you have a possible small graphic that illustrates or helps bring attention to the value you're delivering. You have you as the person who's the main personality on your channel. And then you have a background that adds to the image but doesn't distract from the image. That's it. That's that's the only elements that I found to be super important when it comes to putting these together. You can see that's the same thing here. I have a background, I have a picture of me, here's the headline, here's a little graphic that highlights what it is. And then over here, if you wanna get super advanced, I have a couple of these on the side, Sales Funnel 101, and that's simply because it's part of a series. So when people go to my playlist, I want them to be able to see, hey, this is part of a series. And as you can see with the screenshot of my channel, when I go down, you can see these bars actually mean something on the channel page. It just helps with congruency and branding. It's definitely not a requirement, right? So just wanted to point out why that bar is there is because I'm creating a bunch of series and playlists. All right, let's make something a little more serious, right? So we'll go here, do, 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 do. We'll pick this up. We'll, we'll keep this guy. Um, so another basic outline you can do, 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 do. There we go. I promise I'll go fast because I know you guys don't want to watch me just play around with Canva all day long, right? You have your own designs to make. So we'll go ahead and change. You can come up here. Oh, come on. <laughs> you can come up here and change the color of the image. You can also click the plus button and get super crazy detailed with the color that you want to be using. I'll change it to this for now. And we'll just run through another example very quickly. This time I'll do it with an image. So you can take any kind of image you want. And as soon as you pull it out, it'll automatically put it in the background. And we'll do like that. And then one of the things I like to do is you can come up here to filter and you can actually change how the image looks very, very quickly. So you'll notice this is really important when it comes to the kind of image you want for your channel brand. You notice this is very lighthearted and and kind of airy as opposed to drama, it's very dark. And so you'll definitely want consistency in the style of images. Like you don't want half of your channel thumbnails to be all light and hearty like this and then the other one's super dark, right? Unless the super dark one is you're trying to call specific attention to that one. So you can also think about the emotion. Like if I was, if my headline was, 10 happy thoughts for the day and I have this super dark looking background image, that's not really congruent. Whereas if I had happy thoughts for the day, I'd have probably used this Cali one. In either instance, you'll want to blur out the image. So we'll come down here and we'll blur and we'll drag it up a little bit and you'll see how it's kind of blurry. And so we want the image to add to it and not distract from it, right? So we'll blur it out like that. Keep in mind that it's really, really tiny when it shows up on the mobile mobile screen there. So, okay, we got our headline and gr attention grabbing title. So let's go ahead and add a subtitle. So this is another thing that I sometimes do instead of an additional graphic, I'll add a subtitle. Okay, sorry about that. Fix the spelling grabbing. <laughs> it was right there the whole time. There we go, <laughs> two Bs. And we'll go ahead and add another image, a little here. And we'll make it a little smaller, bring it in, bring it in and center, and then we'll arrange and put it back. All right, this is cool. This is very cool. It's very simple too. This is simple and cool. All right, centered. Right, and now we'll just need another picture of you, and we'll bring that in and bring that up. And of course, you wanna make sure that your picture of you is proportionate. You don't wanna make yourself look too tiny or too small in comparison to the other graphics. So I tend to err on the side of larger, just because remember that this image is going to appear very, very small on the screen. Like we'll do, 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 do. 
or it's going to be it's going to be look like that on a mobile phone. So this is another cool way to preview what is it going to look like. See how zoomed in, it kind of looks big, but when I zoom out, it's like, oh, okay, attention grabbing title. This is cool. You can see how it's very easy to read. It takes up most of the space of the thumbnail. There's really not much else to put on there. And in fact, looking at this, this background image would probably not work too well unless it was, I zoomed in on the screen so it was really clear that there was a phone in the background. So that's really all it takes. So now for that little bonus I had for you guys in terms of making this pop. So I'll come down here. The code is in the description. So I'm gonna go to filter. I've come up with actually my own filter for a combination of minus blur, saturation, and contrast to make you stand out. So filter, you might have to change it a little bit based on you know your own skin tone, but you get the idea and I'll click enter. And you can see how it looks very strange up, up close. The, the image is very saturated, but when you zoom out, it makes you pop in terms of the other colors that you're using. And this pretty much is universal on, I use this for my clients as well. And it worked very well in terms of making sure that you don't kind of blur into the background or blur into the title that's going on. And really that's all there is to making something in Canva. I know that seems super basic and really it is. You don't need to make it more complicated than this. That's really all there is to it. I mean, as long as you get a nice looking style and you have a good headline down, you are good to go for a awesome YouTube thumbnail. So thank you for watching. I hope you found this video informative and actionable. If you got some value out of it, go ahead and hit that like button and then subscribe for more business building and marketing videos just like this one. Over on my YouTube channel, I'm documenting the entire process of building an online business from scratch. We have a great growing community of fellow aspiring entrepreneurs. So I encourage you to like and subscribe and join myself and others on this crazy journey of building the businesses we love. So with that, until the next video, keep building the business you love. Take care.